Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Etel Wogu. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please hit that subscribe button to be a part of this amazing family. And if you've been on this channel for a while now, you've been watching our videos and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, but please subscribe. It's completely free. In, In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a hair mask that has the power to treat, regrow and promote healthy hair growth. This hair mask not only does it treat common hair issues, but it also contains lots of vital nutrients your hair needs to grow more healthy, stronger, longer, and even fuller. This hair mask contains vitamins, amino acid, proteins, manganese, and also balances hair pH, and is good for the scalp. And is also good for the scalp, and it also provides strength to the hair. The hair mask is made with herbs used for centuries and known to treat hair issues and also beneficial to one's health. Please make sure to watch this video to the end to know how I made this hair mask and don't forget to like this video as well. Welcome back. The first ingredient I'll be using to make this mask is Moringa powder. I have a video of how I made this Moringa powder on my channel. The link will be in the description box, so please go check it out. This Moringa powder contains vitamin A, B, and omega-3 fatty acid. All these nutrients nourishes the hair and promotes growth. It is also an excellent source of amino acid that helps keep the hair moisturized. It is rich in amino acids, which are also building blocks of cell. They help in rejuvenation of hair, thereby reduces alopecia and also activates the dormant hair follicles, thereby enhancing growth on the bowed areas. The second ingredient I'll be using for this hair mask is neem powder. I also have a video of how I made this neem powder on my channel. I'll also leave the link down below in the description box, so please check it out. Neem is great for scalp care as it has more medicinal properties. It contains antifungal and antibacterial properties which helps eliminate dandruff and treat lice and also strengthen the hair. The third ingredient is hibiscus powder. I also have a video of how I made this hibiscus powder down on my channel. I'll leave a link down below. Hibiscus contains amino acid that can fortify strands by bonding to hair and adding strength and elasticity. It is also loaded with various beneficial ingredients that help stop hair loss and also thicken hair and Hibiscus also conditions against freeze, dryness and breakage. It also prevents premature growing, prevents split ends and makes your hair look healthier and fuller. The fourth ingredient is aloe vera powder. I also have a video of how I made this aloe vera powder on my channel. The link will also be in the description box. Aloe vera has an unmatched ability to effortlessly penetrate the scalp. This allows it to play a significant role in replenishing mo lost moisture in your hair. It reverses the harmful effect caused by dryness while revitalizing your hair. It, also, it is also high in antioxidant and vitamin C. It also C. strengthens and promotes healthy hair growth. The fifth growth. ingredient is henna powder. I also have a video of how I made this henna powder on my channel. The link will be in the description box. Henna is extremely nourishing which helps repair damage in the hair shaft. It also improves hair elasticity and strength which keeps your hair from breaking off and also prevents split ends. Improve and, and maintain scalp health with its cooling, antifungal and antimicrobial properties. The next properties. ingredient which I'll be using for this mask is fenugreek powder. Fenugreek contains lexithin which acts as a natural emollient that conditions and nourishes your scalp and hair. It stimulates blood flow to the scalp and nourishes the scalp follicles to promote healthier new growth. It also treats dandruff, strengthens hair and provides prevents shedding, also enriched with potassium to fight premature grain. Fenugreek are also rich in iron, vitamins and proteins. It also contains manganese, potassium and all these are really critical for hair growth. Now, after putting all these herbs together, I'll go ahead to sieve them to avoid lumps and also prevent having so much residue stuck, stuck in my hair. 
believe me this step is really really important as you don't want to battle with taking out this residue of your hair so to avoid this make sure you sieve this these herbs before using it and speaking out of experience like it wasn't a pleasant experience at all so i'm just telling you so you don't make the same mistake i did now can you see these lumps you really don't want this in your max nor stuck in your hair that's why you have to sieve it before using so after sieving it i poured it back into this bowl as this is what i'll be using to make this mask Okay, I'll go ahead to stir this together to combine. This step is also really, really important before pouring in your liquid. So I already have my hot water here. Believe me, you need hot water for this mixture and not, and not cold water. So I'll be pouring this in bits. I don't want this to be too thick or too light. So to make sure you get the exact consistency you want or you need just pour it in bits i'll keep doing this till i'm satisfied with the consistency All right, I think I'm okay with the consistency so far. Believe me, it's not too thick at all. Now I'm just going to cover this up and allow it to sit overnight. But if you don't really have much time, you can let it sit for at least eight hours before proceeding to the next step. This helps all the this helps all the herbs activate. And please keep this in a warm corner for it to further activate. This is the next day. Okay, let me show you guys how it's looking before I proceed to the next step. Okay, this is how it's looking. I'll go ahead to give this a quick step before introducing the next ingredients that goes in next to make our hair mask complete. Now, this is the conditioner I'll be using. I love this conditioner so much. It doesn't have to be this one. You can use any conditioner you have provided it has slip to detangle your hair. Now it's time to pour in this conditioner. I'll be doing this in bits so I get everything accurately. While I'm pouring in my conditioner, I'll be mixing it up really, really well. Please make sure you mix it up well. I just realized I have something similar on my channel, but the other one, I used a deep conditioner but to be completely honest it did not really give me that much sleep compared to this one if i'm to choose i prefer this one with conditioner to the other one with deep conditioner anyways see check out that video i'll leave a link down in the description box as well please check out that video to see how i use this mask on my hair since it's similar i don't want to film the same process of using this max all over again so go check out that video to see how i use it anyways this particular hair max i'm making right now i'll be using it on my wash day video on my wash day my wash day video will be coming up shortly after this i'll show you guys everything i do on my wash days to grow my hair healthier you don't want to miss it so subscribe if you haven't all right guys our hair mask is ready and it smells so good this is it for today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and check out other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.